I'm back already. Now I have something to say. Nerf, I just found this out. Nerf is now coming out with a new um, line of Nerf guns. Nerf and Strike Elite. I, what I've heard about this line of blasters, they're supposed to be either rehashes or n brand new upgrades of previous Nerf guns. Like a few guns like the Hailfire. The Hailfire is like an upgraded version of the Vulcan. We all knew how big the Vulcan was. The Vulcan was a big ass beast that went from here, went from like here to here. But instead, the Hailfire is relatively smaller. It's like a scaled down Vulcan if you took off the barrel. And what else is pretty cool is that it feeds from clips. Four clips! Four clips you can put on the bottom of that thing. And that bottom, I think, rotates what I've been hearing. It rotates. So then, out of a flywheel, the darts will shoot out. Like a, ra like a Raven CS-18. It has two triggers. A main trigger and an accelerator trigger. Now, I'm going to say this. Most of these guns had a soft release. A soft release is... When a Nerf gun or some kind of Hasbro product is released and Hasbro or any Hasbro company doesn't say anything about it being released. Like most most of the end strike like I said, most of the end strike elite guns have already been uh, shipped out to most of the stores and are available. Like the X shot guns. Nobody knew shit about them, but now they're starting to pop up in YouTube videos and action videos. That I've been seeing on YouTube and I don't believe they are on Tumblr, but if you want, be my guest to try and see if there are any on Tumblr, but I'm not completely sure. Most of the time when I've seen X shotguns is when I'm on YouTube just shitting around. And the first time I found out about an X shotgun is from Gun vs. Gun, Nerf War Cheater. Uh Tommy Gun comes out with the Thunder Shot. And it has a, it's a Nerf gun and a water gun hybrid. That's actually pretty fucking awesome. But anyway, back to the subject, because I'm kind of going off topic here. There's one called the Retaliator, which is actually supposed to be an upgraded version of the Recon. It's supposed to have the same barrel extension, same internals. Most of the difference is it has a grip instead of a light. It doesn't have a stupid ass flip sight that you lose. And it has a better stock. It's like here, and then it's like this, and it drops. So you're looking directly down the rail, right down the sight. So that's actually pretty fucking sweet. Instead of like going like this and like, oh, I can't hold the gun right. You're like, die, bitch. Pa 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 pa. It's pretty fucking sweet from what I've seen. The, and there's a gun, I forgot what it's called, it's supposed to be rehash of the Raider. It's supposed to have better paint, a, a smoother slam fire, and instead of a 35 round drum, which is like this big and bulky as shit, and there's like a 25 round drum that's a little smaller, and instead of it sticking out like this and the feeder being on the bottom, it's straight, like... Here's the clip. Here's the drum. The drum is fed from the middle, which is actually pretty interesting. It looks more like a tom a Tommy gun uh drum mag. Not like a Hotchkiss drum mag, which is bulky as shit. A Hotchkiss machine gun is an older machine gun. You can look it up anywhere. It's supposed to be a rehash of the jolt. It's supposed to be a rehash of the Night Finder coming out next year. And there's supposed to be a lot more guns. Mo but, mo but I'm going to say this. Almost all the guns I've seen out of the Nerf and Strike Elite line are mostly rehashes or upgrades of their predecessors. Like the Recon and the Retaliator and the Raider and the Rampage. That's, that's the name, the Rampage. The Vulcan and the Hailfire. The Hailfire is supposed to be a... Much more superior version of the Vulcan, because the Vulcan, we all know, is bulky as shit unless you mod it. 
and it's got that belt which is can easily be lost and once once you lose that you're fucked which is stupid as hell but now they feed off our clips and instead of like the traditional clips for nerf guns here's my modified um recon haven't really shot it with the barrel extension on yet but i'm gonna try it Unlike normal clips, which are oblique, you can't really see through them well unless you have them in the sunlight. The End Strike Elite clips are supposed to be a little more transparent, looking a little more like these glass panels on my M60 prop gun. And the darts are supposed to be called Elite darts, which are supposed to be better versions of the darts with, with a little more durable foam. Well, this is what I'm hearing. This is just a rumor. But the darts are actually supposed to be a little thicker, which means that they're much more durable than the regular streamlined darts. And uh, mostly what I've been seeing is streamlined dart guns with elite darts. And they're the same damn thing as the darts that came with the original guns. They're the same guns, except a lot of differences. There are differences in the internals, but it's very slight. And they're are upgrades in the look, in the paint scheme, in the um, expansions, like the stockade. It's supposed to be a better version of the barricade. It has a stock that drops down like the retaliator stock, and it has uh, ammo holders, which is actually pretty awesome. And basically, the darts are going to be the same, except they're going to be the foam. It's going to be uh, blue instead of orange, which is okay, and they're much easier to just, you know, they're much easier to take out of the crowd, like, you can have, like, a shitload of orange around your room, and you're like, oh my god, where the fuck is my darts? Like, if you have them on a wall, if you have the box, and it's painted orange, and you have it on the wall, and it kind of blends in, like, if it's in a cabinet... And then the cabinet's orange. And you're going to end up really screwed. But now that the darts are coming out blue. They're easier to spot out like on the floor. If you have a bunch of shit around and they're painted orange. How the fuck can you find this? And how the fuck can you find your darts? But instead. This is going to be more transparent. And you're going to see the darts much more clearly. Which will help distinguish them from the background or the foreground. Or whatever is in your way. You'll be able to see this much clearer. So, like, if you're in a Nerf war, and, like, you're in the sand, like, you, if you're on, like, let's say, you have a Nerf war on a beach. I'm just making this up. Because <laughs> there's no way that you'll be able to have it on a beach unless it's private. And, like, you're on a beach. You're having a Nerf war. You're running out of ammo. And you're like, oh, my God. What am I going to do now? Do I need to resort to my melee weapon? Or do I just look around, scattering around for shots? But, actually, you have the end strike Elite line, and you're able to see the darts much more clearly. Because if, you, because if you're on a beach where the sand is more, you know, coarse, and it has a lot of pebbles in it, then it's going to be harder to spot out the uh, orange darts. But once the, um... Camo ammo came out. A lot of kids are using them for Nerf Wars. Like if they're on a beach or if they're on dirt. Not as much when you're in the woods or else they're going to get lost pretty fucking easily. Mostly orange darts are better for like going out in the woods. Because you're able to spot out orange much more clearer in, in the woods. But if you're like on coarse sand that's going to be real hard to see and shit. So it's going to be much better to see, much easier to see, much easier to find your ammo, load up, and just shoot it up. That was totally fucking random. Anyway, uh... 
so far, most of the stuff that's coming out are either rehashes or completely different. Like, they're coming out with new tactical vests for the Enstrike Elite line, a better bandolier, which is supposed to be blue instead of orange and black. The Hailfire upgrade kit is the only thing that's new so far. That's not a rehash. The rest of that shit, it's either rehashes or um, add-ons for the guns that are coming out. That's it. And there are some rumors that it will replace the regular end strike line, but I'm not completely sure because you know what? The end strike line are original. The elite line, on the other hand, is just the upgraded version. So you know what? It's bullshit. They're not going to replace the end strike line unless they want to stop the end strike line as a whole. I mean end strike and end strike elite. Because the end strike is going to probably keep going on with newer blasters coming out. And then end strike elite is going to come up and make them better. So, people, stop talking shit about nerf replacing the regular end strike. Yeah, so stop eating that dick. If, and for those who don't know what I mean, I mean saying shit. Because you know what? You're just going to end up getting shot in the crotch. Right in your damn crotch.